Okay, so shout out to GSJJ. So they make a lot of really cool stuff. Metals, enamel pins, and I got some patches. So let's see how these patches look. You really have to have a, a simple logo that will look good in all forms. So I'm really curious to see what it'll look like in patch form. I like to put my logo on everything. And shout out to Above Wong Art. I need to start printing my 3D print, 3D print stuff. These look great. Sweatshirts, uh, things like that that I make. Uh, this would be really cool to uh, have put on, have stitched on. Yeah, that looks really good. Very happy with them. And we also have some, have some cool pins. Oh, I definitely gotta give some of these away. These are cool. There we go. So we have some cool pins here. Uh, these are really awesome. Uh, I will definitely have to give some of these away. Uh, I have to give some to my my mom, of course. Uh, but yeah, these are really great. I'm actually thinking about making some shirts. I'm going on a cruise, a family cruise, and I'm thinking about making some shirts. So actually these patches, maybe I'll make some sweatshirts too. And these patches will be really cool to sew on the patches. And then I could give them to my family on the cruise and I could give them a pin as well. Uh, but these, the quality looks amazing. Uh, they have the little logo. Shout out to GS-JJ. Uh, really amazing stuff. These look great. These patches look absolutely fantastic. So definitely check check them out. But yeah, make sure you have make sure your logo is super simple. Um, yeah, see, I have black. This would actually be better if it was only three colors. But you can't, I mean, it's it's simple enough. It's simple enough for my needs. If you're just like using like Instagram and Facebook to make cool art and trying to make a name for yourself, you know, just come up with a logo, but just make it, just keep it simple and do it in Procreate. Do, do it with whatever application you, you can, because that's pretty much what I've always done is people say you can't do this you can't do that you need a professional this you need a professional that there's lots of gatekeeping but you have to figure out a way to make what you need with what you have and then eventually as you get better and better and you become more established then you can adjust things to your needs you know what i mean like if i'm making patches stickers and t-shirts i don't need a professional logo i don't need vectors uh, you just have to I just had to learn how to make them good enough and procreate and that was it and that's what I've been doing for years now and who's going to look at my my logo on Instagram and say oh this is this, this isn't professional this isn't vectors no one no one knows and no one cares the only time people care about it is because people get people get upset when someone says oh you don't have to have vectors to have a logo not realizing that not everyone has the training they have, has the applications they have, and wants to be a, wants to be a designer, which I don't. So uh, that's all I have to say about logos. Shout out again to uh, JS Dash JJ. These are really really amazing, and I can't wait to make some sweatshirts. I think I'm gonna make some family crew sweatshirts, and I'm gonna I wanna get these patched on the side. I think that would be so cool, and so fun. Um, and yeah, I'll probably keep an eye out in the future. I'm probably going to give a few of these things away. Uh, maybe I'll make a sweatshirt, an extra, an extra sweatshirt, and put the patch on and give that away too. That might be fun. Uh, and I'll, maybe I'll, I'll try to do some fun things where I give out some uh, some pins and some stickers and stuff like that. All right. Keep drawing. Keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.